do here to get better overall. They serve doing work from the line as a captain. Welcome back to another Athletes Unplugged sponsored by GEICO. Today we're talking setters with Natalia Valentin Anderson. You all have to be able to facilitate on the floor. You see so much of what's going on. So is it possible that being a setter is the toughest position? You can claim it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody in their own position thinks it's the hardest, you know? Yeah. Um, I think we do have to think a lot and also have a good balance between having fun and you know, focusing. Um, but yeah, it is a hard position, I will say. Because you're always assisting others or setting them up to succeed, whether with a kill or the block coming in with you, for you, what is the most rewarding and exciting moment as a setter on the floor? Like if I get a hitter with no block, that's like super re rewarding. 100%. Is that when you had those freak out moments? Like, I feel like everybody's celebrations have degrees. Is that the highest degree of a celebration we see from you? No. no? I think me, it? I'm like, yes, like I did my job. <laughs> You'll see me freak out if I get a block. Okay. 100%. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> That's what I want to see from you. I'll take that. Five, six, and a stuffed block for number 27. It's, it's like a flying squirrel situation. Fallon is how many inches taller than five, Anderson. Six, and six, five. She doesn't even see her. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Five, six, and six, five. Bird setters have a little bit of a reputation for being bossy, is that true? Or are we gonna dispel that right now? I mean, we could be, we could get bossy sometimes. Um, I think it's like naturally a position that you have to be a leader and help your teammates a lot. And I mean, we could get bossy sometimes, sometimes we don't, like, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, it could be. <laughs> Go for more, more, more. Come on, come on, guys. Yay! Great job, great job. I think I can go faster, okay, with both of you. What is the art, though, of having to know others around you and understanding your hitters, what they like, what they don't like? How much time does that take, and, and how do you learn how to do that with your team? Right, usually uh, that takes a long time, but with this league, there's no time to, you know, yeah. get to know each other better. So I think being proactive every practice and mindful of what you're doing and seeing others do uh, can help as a setter. It's super important to know your teammates and in what uh, position you're going to put them so that they're successful, you know? Yeah. So every hitter is different. Every hitter has a different type of walls. Which is more exciting for you, a two-handed dump or a one-handed dump? Ooh, I mean, I do a lot of the two-handed, mm -hmm. but the two-handed that you dunk, that one I love. Yeah. Because sometimes I go running and I look like I'm going to set, but I just dump it on the other side. I love doing that. I don't <laughs> know why. You're getting excited just I know. <laughs> Can I do that tomorrow? <laughs> but yeah, the one dump is, is super exciting, especially when it goes straight to the floor, you know? Touch, Lishman with a dig, Sambothi in front. Won't be necessary as Valentin Anderson does it herself. The captain. For you, what was the toughest set to master? I mean, I think it depends on the hitter, yeah. you know? But, I don't know, maybe just like a really far ball that I have to put, you know, perfectly on, yeah. on the pan or... Right, like usually like you have to stand like around this area to receive the pass and if the pass is chinked that way, yeah. like you having to run to like push the ball, you know? Like when you're having to really Yeah, push. like usually coming this way to push the ball for. Yeah. It's what is your favorite set? I love coming right here and setting the middle. Ooh. From right there. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. be looking for that one tomorrow. You wanna give it a go? Yeah. All right. We're past here? Just like right there, okay. yeah. Cool. Too low. But oh, I could do that. Fault. Blame the passer. I never got to be the tosser in practice. Really? Because I was so bad. They were like, get out. You're bad. You're not fit. Here you go. That was bad. I like doing that. Ooh, okay. So what was, would that be like a? That's a gap. A gap. Okay. For a middle. Yeah. So for you, we had the toughest set to master, your favorite one set in the middle here. What's your go-to? You're in a bind, like? My go-to, I would say, all of them. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I think as a setter, like, you, throughout your career, you, you try to master all the sets, you yeah. know? 
you do have one that you have to work on more and one that you love, absolutely love, but I mean, I for sure try to master all of them, you know, depending on the hitter. Yeah. Is there a quality or something in every setter's game? Like, what's the one thing that all setters maybe have in common that makes them great? For sure, leadership. Mm -hmm. I think um, that's number one. And uh, staying composure, you know, staying calm during yeah. crisis and stuff like that. That's yeah. very important. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, especially, I think energy, I just, I enjoy the game and I have fun while I play, so my energy, just what I bring to the table every single game. Yeah. For me, it's important. I know we're going to love watching it. I can't wait oh. to see you get a block this season Thank now. you. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow. I'm going to be waiting on it all year <laughs> for that right there. Perfect.